Hello, I'm Steve. Welcome to the Patio Heat Channel where we create visual concepts of infrared heating as well as tips for outdoor comfort. Our one-on-one -on -one customer support helps you make the best decision for your application. We strive to earn your business. Visit our patioheat.com website for sales and more information. Now let's get heating. All right, so this is a question we get quite often and that question is, can we, can we put a uh, Infratech heater underneath a awning structure or a retractable awning structure? Um, so let me go ahead and just put in the awning here. So what I have here is the awning. I got it at full uh, extension here. And um, the couple of things that are important if, if you are going to uh, install one like this. So one thing is, is there's definitely clearances to combustibles you have to meet. Um, this particular application that this uh, client is questioning is can they put it um, underneath the awning and fortunately they have this um, under or overhang section and what I did here is I went ahead and put this overhang we didn't get all the dimensions here but I put this overhang at about 12 inches out from the um, window area here and you can see here we're about 12 inches out let's see if you can see that one foot five five sixteenths um, but in any case um, the clearance behind the heater has got to be, let's see if I can put that on here, uh, clearance has got to be six inches from the back edge of the heater to any combustible surface. Now this is a stucco wall, but if it is wooden construction, it is considered combustible. So that's one thing. The next thing is, is um, with the heater mounted on a ceiling like this, um, you can change the angle to 30 degrees, but you need to make sure that the six inches of clearance is met on top as well. So if that awning structure is down, let's say, um, we'll just move it down a few, you know, inches here. And, you know, if it's something like this, um, well, with the extended, it's okay, but this is a retractable awning. So the retractable awning, I'm going to go ahead and show what it might look like so retractable awning um, it needs to be at the same elevation as the um, uh, the overhang here and that overhang um, again I'm gonna go ahead and look at the bottom clearance this is why because you need to make sure that you know this isn't draping down in front of the heater itself so the only way I can say yes that it would be functionable is if when retracted that the elevation of the bottom edge of the you know fringe I guess you'll call it is at the same elevation as the bottom edge of this overhang. Now if it was on a vertical wall it most likely will not uh, meet those clearances. So the clearances are what you need to look at and um, that's the important aspects. Just another note here, I got this at eight feet off the ground. So with eight feet off the ground, let's go ahead and turn these clearances off for a moment and look at the footprint of heat that you get off of one unit. One unit would give you adequate uh, coverage if you were sitting in this uh, chair here, but if you're out, say, you know, six to eight feet over here, you're not gonna really feel it, so that wouldn't really function well at all, so. All right, well, I hope this has helped. If you're looking for some assistance with your outdoor heating application and you'd like us to review your plans, please send your information into designs at patioheat.com. I'm Steve, and please hit that like button if this has helped you in any way. We don't advertise. We're not monetized. YouTube does not promote us in any way unless we receive thanks from people like you. Thank you very much. Have a great day.